हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम कांस्टेंट स्पीड एट व्हिच द 2 मेगाग्राम कार कैन ट्रैवल ओवर द क्रस्ट ऑफ द हिल एट ए विदाउट लीविंग द सरफेस ऑफ द रोड नेग्लेक्ट द साइज ऑफ द कार इन द कैलकुलेशन सो इफ द कार इज एट पॉइंट ए इफ द कार इज समवेयर हियर and if it is moving from right to left so we will define our coordinate system so the tangential axis is will be in this direction that is in the direction of motion and the normal direction is towards the center of the radius of this curvature so this is our normal direction so the weight of the car will be acting vertically downward and the surface will apply the normal force in the upward direction so if we apply the summation of forces along the normal direction equals to m a n so as we can see that the weight is acting in the positive n direction so i will write w minus n and this is equal to the mass times a n and a n is v square divided by rho and rho is the radius of the curvature at that point a so from this equation we can find the radius of the curvature and but at point a we are asked to find the maximum constant speed at which the 2 megagram car can travel over the crest of the hill a without leaving the surface of the road so if the car is just in contact with the road or if it is just Uh, leaving the contact with the road so at that particular instant n will be equal to 0 so we will assume that to find that maximum velocity n will be equal to 0 so in this equation n is equal to 0 we can write that this weight is equal to m v square divided by rho and the weight is uh, mg we can write that this is mg so mass will cancel out and we can say that v square is equal to g into rho and the velocity that maximum velocity is g rho under the square root so now we need to find this rho and this rho is given by this equation so we can find that rho so we need to find the first and second derivative of that y of x function the path function so we can write that y equals to 20 into 1 minus x square divided by 10000 so if i take the derivative so this is dy by dx so 20 and the derivative of this one will become 0 and this will become minus 2x divided by 10000 and if we take one another derivative so this will be d square y by dx square so again that is 20 and again now the derivative of this is minus 2 divided by 10000 and at a since this is the origin here we have that origin so at a the x is 0 right so we can put this x equals to 0 in this so we will be able to find dy by dx at x equals to 0 since we want to find the radius of curvature at that point a so this was the initial diagram so the x coordinate at point a is 0 so now we can write that dy by dx is 20 if this x is 0 and d square y by dx square at x is equal to 0 there is no x so we need to simplify it so this is minus 40 divided by 10000 so minus 40 divided by 10000 so this is minus 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so now once we know these two derivatives we can find the radius of curvature at x is equal to 0 that is at point a that will be equal to 1 plus dy by dx is 0 so this is to the power 3 divided by 2 0 square so 0 square is 0 divided by that absolute value of second derivative so absolute value is 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 
So, if we evaluate this, this will give us 250. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 to the power 3 divided by 2. So, we get 250 meters. Now, we can find that maximum velocity using this equation. So, V max equals to 9.81 into that radius of curvature at that point A. So, V max 9.81 into 250. So, the velocity, the maximum velocity is 49.52. Meter per second. So, if the car is going to move with 49.52 meter per second, so it will only have it, will, its wheel will just lose the contact at that point E. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems.